Hi students, section of solids 3, prisms 3. The same pentagonal prism which is resting on HP on its base, 25 mm side, 60 mm axis. Sixty mm axis. Is cut by a cutting plane which makes forty degrees to HP perpendicular to VP and passing through a point on the axis forty five mm above the base. So locate the point on the axis forty five mm above the base. Comes here. The cutting plane passes through this point and it also makes 40 degrees to HP. So, where is the cutting plane? This is the cutting plane. Vt. This is the cutting plane. How many vertical edges does it cut? It cut the vertical edge. A dash, F dash, F one dash, B dash, G dash, F two dash. Then it cut the top at three dash. Top again at the four dash. Vertical at D A at the five dash and the vertical at E J at the six dash. One dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, six dash. How do you get two points at the same marking? You can look, look at this. If you cut this by a cutting plane like this, you will have one point at that edge and one point on this edge. Agreed? One point there and one point here. In the elevation, they coincide. So this has got the 3 dash and this has got 4 dash. In the elevation, 3 dash, 4 dash coincide. 3 dash, 4 dash coincide. One is on B, I mean, one is on GH. G H one is on G H and the other is on H I. I hope you understand. Okay, now you have to darken the remaining portion or darken the lines. This is darkened. This is darkened. This is darkened. What does it indicate? It indicates that it indicates that that which is kept, the lighter one is removed. Okay, that completes the sectional elevation. Now what? You have to complete the sectional plan. How do you do that? Drop one dash down, you get one. Drop two dash down, you get two. Drop five dash down, you get five. Drop six dash down, you get six. What about three and four? Drop three dash, four dash with a very light projector. This is three, this is four. Very light projector. Three, four. Hatch this portion. This this small portion 3, 4, C that triangle is not hatched. Why? It is not cut. That portion is not cut. So 3, C uh, 3, H, 4 is not cut. Hatched. It is not cut. Okay. So this completes the sectional elevation, this completes the sectional plan. Now you have to draw the true shape. You know the method of drawing true shape. Draw an x1 by 1, parallel to the cutting plane, x1 by 1, draw projectors. On the projector through 1 dash, take the distance of 1 from x, y and the mark, you get 1, 1. On the projector through 2 dash, you get 2, 1. On the projector through Phi dash you get phi one on the projector through six dash you will get six one. Now what? You have what? Three and four remaining. Points three and four remaining. Where is three? Three is on the way from G to H. On this projector, on this projector, take this distance and mark on what? On the projector through 3 dash, take this distance and the mark, you get 3 1. And 
on the projector for dash take this distance and mark forward connect 1 dash 1121 2131 3141 3141 3141 Hatch this Hatch this at 45 degrees to the x1 by 1 to the x1 by 1 45 degrees to the x1 by 1 That completes the true shape The true shape is a hexagonal shape There are 6 sides hexagonal shape When a pentagonal person is cut You get a hexagonal true shape Not regular hexagon But a polygon with the 6 sides That is true shape Whenever the top of a prism is cut, you will have two points where the cutting line is drawn. Always two points. Unless it goes to this corner. If it goes to this corner, there is only one point. If it goes through this corner, there will be one point. Else, you will have two points in the elevation. Agreed? Thank you.